Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Climbing down off her stool and putting it away, getting ready to spread some paint with an OXO omelet turning spatula. And wondering, there they are, my glasses are over there. They are very important right about now. So, I did resist in the last video from spreading anything other than the one color, which was supposed to provoke me, prevent me, <laughs> which was supposed to help me not get stuck. Because I wanted to tilt and use a basting brush, and I did at least use the basting brush a little bit. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go ahead. Am I? Yeah, I am. I've got a bunch of paint, pink paint. And obviously there's something in there, but I'm just gonna use my spatula. These are, this is gonna be the background. Or whatever I get. And I'm tempted to use something else like a darker version. I just want to keep squeezing stuff on here. All right, so the question is what now? And what the answer is, I have a shovel that had some white enamel in here. Uh, in it. You know what else? <laughs> I need another shovel and I put them all in the bucket so I guess that's not going to happen. I'll just recycle the same shovel. I'm going to recycle the same shovel with some of this blue. There is an iridescent folk art color shifting purple in there. And I think what I'm going to do is for a change try and work with what I've got to start with and see where it goes from there. Just a simple line, simple shovel pour to start with. Because if there's enough paint in that shovel, I should be able to do all kinds of other stuff. I could even make a ribbon pour cup now if I wanted to. And the enamels will definitely make some cells. I can see that. And I've still got... I'm going to dip my spatula right in this black paint. And I want some gold. And I have... Let me just shake that around a little bit. Those cells are awesome. I really do want to use my basting brush. I just don't know if it's as useful as I keep thinking it might be. Let's find out, shall we? That's just a bubble. I may still be tipping this. Well, so far, I'm kind of having a lot of fun doing this. Just putting marks in where I want. And I'm inclined to take my shovel with the cute little lacy marks and throw some blue in there. And whether I want turquoise or not is beyond me. Let's see. What do I really want in there? I really want more of that folk art color shifting purple.
Sorry, I'm quiet. I forget to talk sometimes. Well, I'm enjoying those marks and my shovel. And I think I'm right out of that blue. It's time to make some more and nothing else is coming out of that. So I'm really tempted to go ahead and do what I was going to do, which was to put some turquoise in there. And I'll combine it with some purple. And hopefully... I can make all of that come out at once. Just sort of tip it across the front. That's pretty cool. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep using my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. Taking the color out of there, which is kind of stripey. I'm not sure I love that, but I'm um, also not done with it yet. Just throw a little black in there. Maybe take the straw to it. And expect something miraculous to happen. <laughs> it might, it could. There's enamels in so much of this, it could. It definitely could. That's, um, that's probably all I really need from this. I'm going to grab whatever paint is on my spatula. Probably I'm risking a lot. <laughs> You may not be risking anything, who knows? Don't know until you try. So I'm kind of thinking I'm pretty good, with the exception of I like this one dot down here and I think it needs company. Since I've got white enamel, I might as well use it. And those cells are awesome from the black and white enamel. Just scraping out. So I should tell you guys I do sell my artwork and uh, if you want to reach me the email address underneath the video is EASPBGallery and uh, you can reach me there if you're interested in a lesson or you want to make an inquiry about an artwork. I have Teespring clothing under the video actually all kinds of stuff pillows included and um, Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter links. Yep, I like those little organic finger pounces from the end of the spatula. This is like really a combination of a whole lot of things. A whole lot of techniques and that's okay. I haven't used a torch yet. That gold is looking kind of dark today which is weird. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint and uh, if I feel like I need to do something else like add a spiral or some more dots, I will. Because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Under Show More under the video. I have another book under there. It's called Unlimited Possibilities. It's the second hundred videos from YouTube. And uh, all kinds of other great stuff on that link, by the way. I have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. And you can see tomorrow's video there also. Tomorrow's video is also posted on the community board on my channel header on YouTube where you can find created playlists, 1,200 videos, 10 lists of 100, one list being populated, 13 lists of genres, and this is cool. This is definitely one of my new series. It's kind of different. 
slightly more limited color palette. I'm really trying to get a lot outside my comfort zone, and I think I'm succeeding. I also still have a pan of, uh, I want some color from somewhere to steal to make this different, make this similar to the others near it. So on Facebook also you will find Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More that we'll share with you if you go to the Shop Now button my, uh, my postings on Expression, excuse me, on Fine Art America and Pixels.com since 2013. And even if you're not shopping, it might be fun to go there. <laughs> I hope this dries lighter, but it is what it is, and uh, it's still cool if it, if it doesn't. And there's some really strange and cool things going in here. It's very tempting to want to add chain, because the last time I did something like that, it turned out really well. So thank you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting in the past. I'll give you another view of this. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me every day to um, keep my morale boosted while things are weird at YouTube, and they are weird. If you watch the videos longer, you will help my possibilities increase of staying on YouTube. That's the only thing the YouTube algorithm understands. I would love to have your thumbs up, and if you go shopping on the Amazon link, it's at no added cost to you, and it may help me out in the, in, in the end. Um, I'm sure there's stuff I've forgotten, like check your notifications, they get turned off. And uh, I just want a few more dots right there. And maybe, i got to be careful not to rest that bottle in anything. So I love you guys, and uh, there's almost 86,000 of you. And if you're inclined to give me a hand, binge watch. <laughs> it can't hurt, right? I want some of that pink right on my skewer. Because I love it, and because I can, and because possibilities are unlimited. End away. All right, I'm done. I love you guys. I'll see you in on. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, saying this was different. This was fun. I'm so appreciative of you guys being here. Hope you come again. Bye for now. Priscilla out.